each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this Darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Anora's regent and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most fortuitous. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you. The Banorn will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand this. I will brook no threat to this nation from you or anyone. Bantigan, please! Your Majesty, your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here... Bantigan, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, Your Majesty? And welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. Oh, okay, we are starting right off. All right, so. Um, how about not? How about you fuck right the hell off? So in case you haven't noticed, I got some armor for Mor uh, Morgan. I put, well, I had the armor. I just put it on her. Get off me. Nice. Cool. He wags his tail happily and pants. I think this is the Mabari I helped cure back at Ostagar. I think he was out there looking for you. He's chosen you. Mabari are like that. They call it imprinting. Does this mean we're going to have this mangy beast following us about now? Wonderful. He's not mangy. I've always wanted a dog like this. Maybe it's meant to be. Yeah. Happy bark. Um, I got approval. The dog's always going to like you no matter what you do to the poor thing. Uh, what to name him? I think I'm going to name him Benny. His name is Benny. Hi, Benny! Welcome to the party, little man! I'll take that. This. Do de do. Uh, destroy. Okay. So, yes, I got new um, armor for Morgan, or put her in some different armor. Um, it's better yes. armor for a mage. Of her statue. And let us move on. That one cutscene there, um, with Logan and everything, it's very, very clear from a story standpoint that he has, excuse me, tried to take as much power as he can. Although Maeve and Party do not know that yet. 
drink around my, uh... Mm. That's the world map, by the way. BTW. This pops up whenever you need to go someplace, so we'll be seeing a lot of the world map. <sighs> a lot of it in this episode, too, if it doesn't load faster. I make funny noises with my mouth when I get bored. Sorry. Aha! There we go. them a lesson. How is that any way to greet someone? A simple ten silvers and you're free to move on. You should listen to your friend. We're not refugees. What did I tell you? No wagons and this one looks armed. The toll applies to everyone, Henrik. That's why it's a toll and not, say, refugee tax. Oh, right. Even if you're no refugee, you still got to pay. Yep, yeah, forget it. I'm not paying. Well, I can't say I'm pleased to hear that. We have rules, you know. Right. We get to ransack your corpse. Those are the rules. Um, you can certainly try. <laughs> well, this is going nowhere. Let's finish this, gents. Okay, more uppity humans. This should be fun. Oh, somebody's mad. Would you get him? Why you no get him? Dirty fighting. Why am I, why is my character not doing anything? Get off me. Okay, where's the bandit leader? I cannot see where the bandit leader is. Is that him? All right. All right. We surrender. We're just trying to get by before the dog spawn get us all. Get by? You're a criminal. Yes. I'm a criminal. I admit it. I apologize. Hand over everything you've stolen. Yes, yes, of course. The coins we collected are right here. Uh, just over a hundred silvers. The rest is in the chest we brought. I swear. Truthfully, she's not, you know, real impressed by these guys. She's annoyed with them. Excuse me, I was taking a drink. She's annoyed with them. They re they remind her of Vaughn for some reason. And, you know, she's, she doesn't want to deal with these kinds of problems right now. After everything she's seen, after everything she's witnessed, she's done. Now you die. That's all you deserve. I'm not going down without a fight. Yep. Figured as much. Except that, you know, you only had one hit point left, idiot. All right. Get the hell off me. Hey! What, uh, shoot, come on now. What did I just say? Thank you, Alistair. There we go. That worked that time. Alright. I mean... You know... Let's pick up the dead Templar here. Knight's locket, Knight's note. Um, she's just kind of done at this point. And anybody who's going to to cross her, unless somebody specifically says, "Hey, don't kill that guy," she's just gonna like kill him because she's done. You know, she's just done. Well, there it is. Lothering, pretty as a painting. Ah. Oh. So, you have finally decided to rejoin us, have you? Falling on your blade in grief seemed like too much trouble, I take it. Is my being upset so hard to understand? Have you never lost someone important to you? 
Just what would you do if your mother died? Before or after I stopped laughing. Right, very creepy. Forget I asked. Oh, leave him alone, Morgan. But how can I? He is right there, speaking, eyes wide like those of a brainless calf. Oh, I get it. This is the part where we're shocked to discover how you've never had a friend your entire life. I can be friendly when I desire to. Alas, desiring to be more intelligent does not make it so. Anyway, I thought <laughs> we should talk about where we intend to go first. Uh, we need to hear some news before we can decide anything. But we need to decide what our general plan is for afterwards, don't we? I think what Flemeth suggested is the best. No, oh, for idea. fuck's sake, Mouse. These treaties. Have you looked at them? Um, I would think she has, because they've been traveling for a while now, so she probably looked over them at least once. Yes, I have. There are three main groups that we have treaties for. The Daily Shelves, the Dwarves of Orzammar, and the Circle of Magi. I also still think that Arleman is our best bet for help. We might even want to go to him first. Uh, is there a way to contact the Grey Wardens? Short of leaving for Elden to seek them out, the only place to send word to would be Weisalpt Fortress. <laughs> and that's thousands of miles away. Oh. What do you think we should do, Morgan? Go after your enemy directly. Find this man Loghain and kill him. The rest of this business with the treaties can then be done in safety. Yes, he certainly wouldn't see that coming, and it's not like he has the advantage of an army and experience and... I was asked for my opinion and I gave it. If your wish is to come up with reasons why something cannot be done, we will stand here until the Darkspawn are upon us. Why are you leaving this up to me? Well, I don't know where we should go. I'll do whatever you decide. Now that is unsurprising. Arleman is a good man, but I don't know for sure he's where we should go. I'm not going to fight about it. I'm not sure any of this is a good idea. I'm not sure I like any of it either, but we don't have a lot of choice in the matter. Of course you have a choice. You could run and forget about it all. Let the Darkspawn do as they wish until other Grey Wardens come. If they come. That's what you call a choice? It may not be a good choice, but it's a choice nevertheless. We all choose our path, even when it seems there is only one direction we should go. How enlightening. At any rate, I'll stay with you whatever you decide. Then I guess we need to find these people. I can give you directions, if you like. Where are we going to find this Arl Eamon? He'll be at Castle Redcliffe, in the far western part of Ferelden, next to the mountain passes. If he isn't there, someone will be able to tell us where he is. I imagine her just like shuffling through the treaty papers right now, reading what who they have, you know. Uh, where do we find the Circle of Magi? That would be at their tower on Lake Kalenhard to the north. We'll be looking for the first enchanter, whoever that is. Uh, what about the Dalish elves? If we head eastward, towards the Brazilian forest... We should hear word of one of the clans that wanders that area. Hopefully, they will still be there. She's kind of, truthfully, she's excited about the Dalish elves, because she'd love to meet them, like, in person. Like, now that she knows they have to be real, because the wardens have treaties for them. So she's she's kind of excited about the meeting the Dalish elves, meeting free elves, essentially. Where do we find the dwarves? Which she's also never seen, by the way. A dwarf? I mean, not... She's seen them, I guess, but she hasn't really ever spoken to dwarves before. We would need to speak to their king in Orzammar. That means heading west into the Frostback Mountains, which won't be easy. Mm. Excuse me, I had to take a drink. And, um, just because I'm curious, where would Loghain be exactly? If he isn't out in the field with his army, he's probably going to be at the palace in Denerim. We can go to Denerim, but somehow I suspect that they're not going to let us just walk around. Only a suspicion, of course. Yeah, that's probably true. I don't need any more directions. Then you have a plan. Yeah, I guess I'm ready to get going. Fair enough. Let's head into the village whenever you're ready. So now she's, like, evidently in charge. He's left her in charge now. Alistair has, and that... She doesn't know what to do with that. She's never actually been in charge before, so... I'm gonna go collect some stuff. Ooh, that's pretty. 
Look at the trees back there. That's really pretty. There's a tower up there. Windmill. It's a windmill. Excuse me. More elf root. Alright. I don't think there's anything in here that I really, really need right now because I do have stuff already, so... Let's head into town. You there. If you're looking for safe shelter, I'll warn you. There's none to be found. Oh? Move on if you can. Lothering's lost. Uh, what do you mean? We've had refugees streaming from the south for the last two days. The Chantry and Tavern are full to bursting. There simply isn't enough food to go around, and we Templars can barely keep order. You'd be better off elsewhere, my friend. Are you keeping me from going in? I'm just warning you, things may not be as hospitable as you would expect. People are frightened. Is anyone in charge here? The band has marched north with Terran Loghain, so Lothering's on its own. Most folks look to Elder Miriam. <laughs> Otherwise, you could speak to Sir Bryant in the Chantry, I suppose. It's up to you. Thank you for letting me know, my good man. Look. This child needs to shut up now before... Oh. Greetings to you, my lady. If it isn't too much to ask... Might you be able to spare some bread? You know what? Here's fifty. Oh no! You know what? What happened to you? We thought it would be safer in Lothering. That the Terran would bring his soldiers here, but bandits attacked us and took everything: our food, our clothes, my daughter's pet lamb. Aww. Nobody cares about a few elves like us. Surely you understand. Yeah, I met those bandits. They're dead now. Killed them? Mm -hmm. That's wonderful news. Perhaps our belongings are still there. I can't thank you enough, friend. Even if we don't get everything back, it's it's good to know others will be safe. I love how excited she was to find out they were dead. Oh, that's wonderful news! They're dead! Yay! <laughs> back off! I have the right to charge what I wish. You profit from their misfortune. I should have the Templars give away everything in your carts. You wouldn't dare. Any of you step too close to my goods and I'll... It's so nice to see everyone working together in a crisis. Warms the heart. Oh, you there. You look able. Would you care to make a tiny profit helping a beleaguered businessman? Why would I want to help you? Didn't I mention profit? He is charging outlandish prices for things people desperately need. Their blood is filling his pockets. His only survival of the fittest. All of these Cretans would do the same in his shoes, given the chance. I have limited supplies. The people decide what those supplies are worth to them. You bought most of your wares from these very people last week. Now they flee for their lives, and you want to talk business? Look, stranger. I have a hundred silvers if you drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. I'm an honest merchant, nothing more. Honest! Right. Yeah, not interested. Well, I won't stand for thievery. Especially not at the demand of some shrewish priest. Then go! And may you get all you deserve! I hope the darkspawn choke on your cheap hides. Ah. Back at you, douchebag! Be helped. Maker, help us all. I love how he tries to, like, justify his shitty behavior by saying, Well, I'm just trying to help people! Bruh, bruh, bruh. Idiot. The job board. Sure, I'll accept that. The legions of evil are on your doorstep! They will feast upon our hearts! There is nowhere to run! This evil will cover the world like a plague of locusts! Please, you're scaring the children! Better to slit their throats now than let them suffer at dark spawn hands! Hello, crazy man! There! One of their minions is already amongst us! This woman bears their evil stench! Can you not see the vile blackness that fills her? Uh, 
is no one going to shut this madman up? Be my guest. I've no urge to try out that axe of his. I watch the black horde descend on my people. Darkness swallowed the marshes whole. This minion is but the first of those who will destroy us. Don't be a fool. Darkspawn can be defeated. No, I have seen them. You cannot run. You cannot fight. Standing around and shouting won't save you. Could you cluck like a chicken when you do that? Are you calling me a coward? I'm calling you an idiot. Listen to yourself for a moment. I... I have shamed my ancestors. But the Black Pits will come. He was right, wasn't he? There's no hope for us. Oh, there's always hope. Muster your courage. You're right. We can't give up. But we can't fight. What are we supposed to do? We can't lie down and die either. We must go north to dinner. There you go. Get out of here. Don't just stay here. Either fight or move on, but don't just stay here and die. Um. Okay, that would be a ghost voice. Maybe with that blasted chasing gone, my headache will go as well. Alrighty, let's see what's in here. This is the Chantry. I actually, out of all the Chantries in this game, I think I like this one the most. I don't know why. If you seek refuge in the Chantry, there's simply no room left. You're closed? We turn none aside, but we simply don't have room for anyone to sleep. The priests are within if you seek to offer devotion to the Maker, however. May he protect us all. Who's in charge of this chantry? The revered mother runs the chantry itself, and Sir Brian heads the Templars stationed here. Have you heard any news? Not since Tern Logain passed by with his army. It's a shame about the king. But with the Darkspawn coming, few can think of anything else. Hey, did you happen to know that there about those bandits on the highway? Did you drive them off? Well, so Brian will appreciate that. Alright, goodbye. Make her watch I'll have to go talk to Sir Brian. She's just curious, you know, like, these Templars are, like, claiming to want to help people, but nobody got rid of those bandits till she came along, so she was curious if they even knew about them. Ah... See, I don't know why. I like this chantry. I don't know why. It's one of my favorite chant. Well, most of the chantries are kind of creepy. Well, the music surely doesn't help anything. But I do genuinely like this chantry. To me, it just seems like Benny's head is in the back. Is in my back. That's nice. It just seems kind of warm and inviting. Aside from the creepy ass music, the creepy ass music is creepy. Should walk inside the church. And I will not abandon. That is all. May the Maker have mercy on us. Hi. Yes, my lady? Who might you be? Oh! Well, aren't you polite? Um... You can call me Maeve? I am Sir Bryant, commander of Lothering's remaining Templars. You don't seem like the other refugees. Are you one of Arl Eamon's knights? I'm a Grey Warden, actually. I see. Tan Logan declared all Grey Wardens traitors responsible for the King's death. You what? Know this, I hope. Wait. He claimed we're responsible? And set a bounty on any who survived. I don't believe the Grey Wardens would be as careless or malicious as the Tan claims. But either way, there it is. It is best you not linger, though. Just in case. Are you in charge here? The revered mother leads this flock. I merely command her Templars. Normally, our role is to protect the Chantry and seek out unsanctioned magic. But now, it is all we can do to protect the innocent. And if you found an unsanctioned mage? 
Let us pretend that I was such a maid. <laughs> what would you do to me? Hmm? Oh, I have no time to even think about such things right now. My concern is protecting these people. I see nothing threatening them other than the dark spawn. Yeah, that, that thing on her back there, that's totally not a staff at all. Where would I find this revered mother? In her study, no doubt. Preparing what she will take when we eventually evacuate. Are you the only protection this village has? Our ban was summoned by Tan Logain, and he took his soldiers north with him. Lothering has been abandoned. That's nice. Um, tell me about something else. If the matter is important, certainly. Have you heard any recent news? Other than the Darkspawn horde bearing down on us, none of it is good. Tan Logain is set to declare himself king here. Of course he is. Disaster piled on disaster. King Kalen had no heir? None that we know of. Tan Logain has no legitimate claim on the throne. He may be a hero, and his daughter may be queen, but he is a commoner, and the king's corpse is barely cold. If Arl Eamon was able to intervene, perhaps it would not have gone this far. I do not care who takes the throne. Only fools fight over who owns a cottage while it burns down around them. What's wrong with Arl Eamon? Arl Eamon has fallen ill and his knights are on a quest for the sacred urn filled with Andraste's ashes, said to cure any malady. He must be very ill if they chase miracles as the only cure. One of the Arl's knights, Sir Donal, is here searching for fantasies while... Never mind. Ask him if you care about this foolishness. Uh, things seem very dire in the village. They are. With the band having taken his men north, the village is left to its fate. We will evacuate as many as we can before the Horde reaches us. I will stay as long as I am needed. Now, unless there's something else you need. Uh... If the matter is important, certainly. I need to get to him about the bandits. Nothing else to ask? Unless there's something else you need. Any other help you can offer? I cannot openly help you, I fear, but... Here. I wanted to tell him about the bandits. It opens the large cabinet on the far wall. There is more there than we can carry when we evacuate, so take what you need. Yeah, here we go. About those bandits outside the village. Maker's breath. How many times must we drive them off? They won't bother you again. I killed them. All of them? By yourself? I had help. It's true. I saw it from my post. It was over so fast, we didn't even have time to get over there. Sad that it needed to come to that. But then they asked for it. No, Will true. You accept a small reward for your service. You know what? No need. That is very generous of you. If it interests you, there is a chanter's board outside full of quests that need doing. The chanters even offer pay for some of them. Now, unless there's something else you need. Nope, I'm gonna go. Travel safely, and may the maker watch over you. Normally I'd say she would have taken a uh, reward for that, but looking around the uh, the church, the chantry here, and seeing all of these people in such dire straits, I, she could not bring herself to, to take that reward. This must be Sir Donal here. Hello. I beg your pardon. I did not see you approach. Sir Donal? Is that you? Alistair? By the maker, how are you? I, I was certain you were dead. <laughs> Not yet. No thanks to turn Loghain. If Arl Eamon were well, he'd set Loghain straight soon enough. So you're here looking for the urn of sacred ashes, then? I am indeed. Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness. But I fear we are chasing a fable, with each day my hope dims. I was hoping to meet Arl Eamon, in fact. Why is that, if I may ask? Uh, I would prefer not to say. Whatever the reason, the Arl won't be seeing anyone until he's recovered. I don't like the sound of that. We should see Arl Eamon for ourselves and find out what's happening. You can travel to Redcliffe if you like. Perhaps he has recovered. Or perhaps his son might assist you. If nothing else, I am certain you would be welcomed at Castle Redcliffe. The Arlessa is there, and she could tell you more than I could. So your quest for these ashes brought you here? I expected to take advantage of the Chantry's library, in fact. But my skills are better suited to battle than chasing down tales. 
Tell me more about this urn of sacred ashes. Supposedly, the urn contains the ashes of the prophetess Andraste. Surely you know all this. Uh, perhaps I could help you. Nothing I have found leads me to believe that this was anything more than a quest of desperation. I intend to return to Redcliffe soon and tell the Arlesa exactly that once Sir Henrik arrives. Who's Sir Henrik? My fellow knight and traveling companion. He is delayed, though. Uh, I believe your friend Sir Henrik is dead. I have something of his. What? And you have his locket? And a note? Maker's mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. I dealt with the bandits that killed him. Thank you. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. I should go. With Henrik gone, I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Thank you again, my lady. You have been most helpful. Again, with the polite humans. Some of this genuinely confuses her. I think... Is that a quest thingy? No, magic and religion. Okay, mark as red. Quest related. Signs of the chastened, pinch of ashes, that's it. Farewell letter to Jogby. Yep, alright. There are some things that... I'm gonna run, because walking's too slow. Let those who cry out from the shadows come. those who seek redemption... Come on, mouse, work. There we go. I'm gonna go collect the codices. An unlock chests, bronze symbol of Andraste. Do not ask me why I said it like that. I'll go into that other room in a minute. Um, let's head back out. Yep, we're gonna head back out. Uh, but first, I think I'm gonna end this episode here, guys. Um, you know, kind of uneventful, I guess. I know. I mean, I killed some. Dark spawn and some bandits, I guess, but nothing real big. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you're enjoying this series, and I'll see you all in the very next episode of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. Ciao.